who is Flo? Uh, how uh, musically? Flow is a group of musicians brought together pretty much by Lawrence Blatt. To me, Flow is a group of friends making music and having a good time. Flow is a new age, and now are we a group, are we an ensemble? Four really, really good friends who got together to make beautiful music. Well, Flow is an anagram of, um, of our names, so it's Fiona Joy. Lawrence Blatt, Jeff Oster, and Will Ackerman. They don't like the term, but it is a supergroup. It's a group made of people who already had established careers in the, the New Age genre. My name's Fiona Joy, and I play the piano, and I sing. I'm Lawrence Blatt, and I play guitar with the band Flo. My name is Tom Eaton. I'm one of the producers on the project of Flo. My name is Jeff Oster. I am a trumpet flugelhorn artist in Flo. My name is Will Ackerman, to the best of my recollection, at 68 years of age. I started out as the producer of this project, Flo, and now I'm one of the members in the band. New Age Music is? That's a good question. Ah, the new age question. I think there isn't a definition. I guess there's no real definition for jazz either, and, and these days probably classical either. Music that lifts you higher and um, provide people that experience it um, joy and peace and hopefully uh, hope. My feeling about the thing is that I've always produced music that was heartfelt, something that was very emotionally connected. Um, and so if that's new age, then I guess we might be a part of it. Flow started because we'd all worked together a number of times. We all have um, our own solo careers and we're all new age artists. Flow came together kind of organically. Fiona and I were doing a lot of work together and it made sense to invite Jeff in. And once we invited Jeff in, it, it made sense to invite Will in. I think the genesis for Flo was Lawrence Blatt wanting to create an ensemble group um, where they would really get to woodshed and work on music together, write music together. And we came here to Vermont to Will's studio and recorded and uh, what happened was I think some real magic. It's an interesting writing process when you're writing for a group because um, as a solo artist you, you take your part into the studio and you have, you have an idea of how it's going to end up and the instruments that are going to go on the song and then you, you give that over to the group. My thought was that I'd bring my songs into the middle and somebody would sort of sprinkle some fairy dust on them and okay, that would, that would be it. And that's kind of what had been true for my music in my career. What happened though, there's a place where I started feeling really, really uncomfortable. I mean, these guys were going into the DNA of my songs and completely changing them. When I'm sitting back here, I can hear you fine. But when I came over here, it became like amorphous as to where the... We all adjusted our playing styles to be an ensemble instead of soloist. So my thought was initially that when we got together it would sound like um, a Fiona song with us playing on it or a Will song or a Lawrence song. But what ended up happening, and this has a lot to do with Tom Eaton. With four people who have their own careers and done their own thing for a long time, we weren't sure, I wasn't sure, particularly how easy it was going to be to weave all their personalities and all their musical personalities together. Did I mess something up? There was this discomfort and sort of disorientation for me and then it all of a sudden occurred to me, wait a minute, this is what you do as a producer on a daily basis. It's not losing the vision for your song at all, it's, it's like finding a new one. You get into the core of the thing and you change it and that's what was happening with Flo and at that moment it was just, oh, revelatory and wonderful and ah, I'm actually seeing something that I've never done in my career.
Tom kept coming back to, we really need to, f to make feature the four of you as the lead instruments, not one versus the other, but all together as much as possible. Each of the members of Flow brought a few songs into the studio when we started to work on the album. Then we started from scratch. We started to record Lawrence's guitar or Fiona's piano or whatever the, the center of each song was going to be, and then everybody piled on. You know, it, there always is a moment when you, you hear a song that you had a part in that you say to yourself, I don't know where that came from. Uh, I don't know how that, that came out of what I do, uh, in a good way. And we, we felt that pretty immediately, that the, the sound just settled in and everybody found their spot. But it just kind of happened. And we really didn't sit down and say, okay, you do this, you do that. We just fell into it. It was just a complete fit. What was apparent to me is the, just how much they were loving playing together. I mean, there was a lot of laughter. There was a lot, even, you know, even with screw-ups, it was, it was hilarious, you know, it wasn't bad at all. But in the process, I think that incredible feeling they had of togetherness and, and forgiving each other for, for any problem that might happen, they were able to be really expansive. Then they could take chances because they knew they were within uh, a context of, of real friendship. What does each member of Flow contribute to the group? Describe the group dynamic. Well, Lawrence brings the groove. Lawrence brings a chordal groove playing on the guitar. A brilliant rhythm guitarist for the most part, although he does mean leads as well. Fiona brings the vocal, Fiona brings the piano, Fiona brings the ethereal, the, the energy. I'm the only girl, and I guess I'm, I'm the Australian, so I'm the one with a crazy sense of humour. <laughs> Jeff Oster, the flugelhorn, it's a transcendent sound. It's, it's one of the best flugelhorn tones um, that there is. Will is Will. Will defined what this music is with his sense of space, his sense of phrasing on the guitar, and uh, how to let things breathe. And so all of the people in the group have been have benefited from Will's production. Let's see what. Let's go by process of elimination. I have learned so much musically from Will Ackerman. He understands the moment of magic. You know, you go searching for those moments and it's putting those moments together that creates an incredible piece of music and I think that's, that's to me, that's what Will does that really nobody else can do. The way Will decides whether something works or not in the studio is whether it hits him in the heart. And as people are playing in the studio, we are keeping track of what they're doing and Will is, is responding emotionally, purely emotionally. If it gets him, we keep it. If it doesn't get him, we do it again until we get a section of the song that, keep, that gets him. Okay. Sure. Everybody good? It was nice. Yeah. Okay. I like to think of music as a metaphor. It's a poem. It can mean a lot of things. It can take you to a lot of different places. I think all that's important to me is that people feel. I don't care what they feel. I don't care if it's peaceful or if it's sad. Um, those are all places where we find our heart and where we find our spirit. Well, I think that what we've created provides moments. It provides drama. I think there's some places where it might feel a little dark and, and build and like a kind of like a rolling thunderhead across the prairie. And there's a certain pastoralness, uh, a certain sense of the natural world that's in the music, a certain sense of ease. For us, anyway, it's not about kind of a necessarily about a, a spirituality except for the, the spirituality that, that is music. We're looking for a little more peace in the world and a little more kindness in the world and, and I think that if this record can, can help people find a little bit of solace, a little bit of peace, I think that would be the, uh, the thing that everybody would appreciate. Music moves people in different ways. I just hope the music will move them the, the way that it moved us and I just hope you enjoy it and, and love it as much as we do. That would be my ultimate goal would be to make somebody smile, laugh, cry, feel something. When it happens and you feel the actual synergy of that, you feel the energy of four people really contributing, that's a pretty amazing thing to get to experience. Mm -hmm.